the characters in Victorious have very different personalities. What's that supposed to mean? Have you ever wondered what zodiac sign each character represents? Let's take a look at the top moments that really highlight their astrological signs. Tori is an Aries. She's ambitious and creative. What is that? It's a uh, spicy tuna ball. <laughs> but can sometimes procrastinate and be impulsive. Let's go! <laughs> you realize those big 40-pound balls are gonna be swinging back and forth, right? Risk. It's all about risk. Jade is definitely a Scorpio. She's super competitive and not afraid to back down from a fight. So, do I still look big and stupid? All right, listen, hot stuff. You better just turn yourself around and walk away from me, because we're gonna... I like it on the ground. However, she can be a little aggressive and has a jealous side when it comes to her relationship with Beck. Okay, let me see if I understand you. Let's see if you do. Because you and I date, I can't be friends with other girls. You can be friends with ugly girls. Speaking of Beck, he embodies the traits of a Pisces. He's the most mature out of the group and always there to lend a helping hand. Wait, but but how did you, where did, where did you get that dress? Cat made it. Are you sweating? Yeah, I think I'm having an anxiety attack. I don't want to do the stunt, I'm scared. It's okay, I got this. Wait, what are you? Shh, wait here. Beck can be sensitive at times and stubborn, too. I'm glad Jade and I broke up. Why? Because I can't remember the last time she did one nice thing for me. Oh, come on, didn't you just have a birthday? She didn't get you anything for your birthday? She got me a can of lemonade. Next is Psychowitz. His spontaneity and energetic personality makes him a Sagittarius. Psychowitz? What? You hit me in the face with a ball! Oh, come on! A truly great actor can stay in the scene no matter what's happening around her. But watch out, because he can be brutally honest. Oh, Tori! We're not laughing at your acting, we're laughing because of your acting! <laughs> and very forgetful. It was in the toilet. <laughs> That's a disturbing taste. <clears throat> Trina is a total Leo. She is super confident and not afraid to put herself out there. We can hey, make sure Sean Quincy. <laughs> I'm Trina Vega, and this is your lucky day. <laughs> oh, no. I told her not to come. I'm a singer and a dancer, and if you give me half a chance, I swear I will blow your mind with my talent. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, maybe this isn't the best time, but just Text me after the party. No, please don't carry me away. However, she is self-centered at times, not to mention demanding, particularly of her little sister, Tori. Oh. <coughs> Tissue. <coughs> Check the color. Sinjin, a cancer, may hang in the background, but he is very loyal and resilient, especially when Jade yells at him. Will you kill the disco? No one can kill disco. He can be clingy and very timid. Sinjin? Hi, Jade. Where did you get that lamp? Um, at the lamp store. It looks exactly like the lamp I have in my den at home. Oh, weird. Are you in my house? Take your computer with you! Please don't tell my mother. Andre has all the traits of a Libra. He's very easygoing at times, and someone his friends can rely on. So, what are you gonna say? A song, a really cool song that you're gonna help me write tonight. I can't. You have to. But I gotta go on a 
Andre. All right. I'll just celebrate my 97-year-old great-grandpa's birthday with him next year. Possibly. <laughs> well, come on. But he's definitely afraid of conflict, and his emotions can get the better of him. You think you're in love with Jade? I think so. OK, what happened tonight? I don't know. We were just working together all night at school, and I just saw her singing, and she just looked so, so pretty and sweet. Dude, you can't love Jade. Like I don't know that, Beck is one of my best friends. I would never try to move in on a friend's girl. Uh-uh, I don't play that way. Andre's grandma is a Taurus. She's really outspoken and values honesty. I gotta find my muffin. Girl, would you hold my oatmeal for me? Sure. Put your hands out. OK. You said you'd hold my oatmeal! Why didn't you just hand me the mug? I'm not letting you touch my mug! But she's really stubborn, not to mention fearful of everything. Oh, hi! You're Andre's grandmother? I don't know you! It's Virgo season all year round for Robbie. He's very helpful and uses logic to get through tough situations. If you're this stressed about the exam, why don't you let Robbie tutor you? Why Robbie? Uh, because last semester I got the highest grade in tech theater that anyone's ever gotten at Hollywood Arts. I mean, that's why his picture's up on the wall by the door. Robbie, would you really tutor me? Sure. Meet me at the black box tomorrow after school and I'll teach you everything you need to know. However, he worries a lot and can be argumentative, especially with his puppet Rex. So, Robbie, Kat's been telling me you've been having some pretty bad nightmares. I'm not crazy. Oh, yes, he is. Every morning, he puts on his left sock, then his left shoe, then his right sock, then his right shoe. So? Any mentally stable person puts on a sock and a sock, then a shoe and a shoe. Leave me alone! Speaking of Rex, he's a charming and witty Aquarius. Hey, Tori, maybe you should play a woman who loves to make out with two-foot tall guys who happen to be me. <laughs> but not always the easiest to get along with and can crack some pretty insensitive jokes. I think we should tell her. Why don't we just drive her out to the desert and drop her off? Rex! She knows too much. Moving on to Pawnee, she's a Capricorn. She works hard for what she wants and is very resourceful. What? Excuse me, what's your name? Linda. That is Linda. Oh, yeah, sure, Linda the liar. That. It's Pawnee. You said Pawnee had brown hair. She's in disguise. That is Pawnee in disguise. But be careful, because she can be manipulative and hold grudges. I used to go to school here until you showed up. Huh? Your locker used to be my locker. Yeah, I got kicked out of Hollywood art so they could make room for you. And guess what, Tori? I'm angry about it. Finally, we have Kat. Her imaginative and playful personality make her a Gemini. Then let's make this interesting. Yeah, let's dress up as pirates. <laughs> but all that fun can have her easily distracted and make some impractical choices. When I went online to pajellihujo.com, they said I could have free shipping if I bought a... a gross. Cat, that's 144. You bought 144 Pajelli Huchos? Free shipping! Their personalities were definitely written in the stars. Which Victoria's character are you most like? Let us know in the comments.